the acid tests are complete. The results came back positive, and the monster is coming to Las Vegas. This is the greatest attraction in boxing. Though in his way stands another experienced and dangerous opponent. He is a banger. A hardened road warrior from the Philippines who packs vicious, unrelenting power of his own. To finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. And so with three of the four major straps on the line, 2020 will see two of the division's most fearsome in-form fighters battle for supremacy. Oh, Please help us out by hitting subscribe and pressing the bell button as we take a closer look at a bantamweight bonanza in Naoya Inoue versus John Real Casimiro. It doesn't matter where you come from. Sports fans love greatness. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. The power that man possesses in his hands is, is a joke. Before we start the feature, a quick shout out to the people who made this video possible. To ridge.com slash MOTIV and use code MOTIV. Link in the description. This dude is dominating world class opposition like nobody's business. He is a bad ass little dude. <laughs> The acid test itself is a moment that comes in every fighter's career. A night where stakes rise and critics lurk. As skills, ability, and bravery go under the magnifying glass more intensely than ever before. This moment for Japan's hottest asset came last November. Monster versus the legend, that is exactly what it is. And whilst it revealed that the monster is indeed a man of flesh and blood, it also emphasized his grit, determination, and worthiness in the passing of the bantamweight torch. When he's down for only the third time in his career. After signing with top rank upon winning the Super Series, the 27-year-old now prepares to take the U.S. by storm. And with 16 knockouts in 19 fights, backed up by the sport's most impressive offensive arsenal, it's clear to see why. He shakes his head and he's not going to make it. And we talked about tasting the power and he's tasted it now. Training under the guidance of his father, Shinjo, <laughs> the pair continue one of the most prominent father-son duos in the sport. One incredible fight. I used to train with him, I used to run with him. It's that guy can <laughs> Yeah, he knocks him out. He's, he's, a, he's a freak of nature, isn't he? Uh, you gotta get up and go get it. It's certainly a risky fight for the Japanese star, especially coming off an orbital injury. But with credit to his throwback style and willingness to face the best, a victory against the Filipino this year would see him put a serious dent in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. And that is devastating once again from Noya Inoue. I'm fearless. However, training out in Florida, the man opposite him will be looking to break a glass ceiling of his own. Underrated and relatively unknown in the U.S., the three-weight world champion is far more dangerous than many realize. Casemiro is no joke. He's a real killer and he, he can punch and he's a ruthless, spiteful fighter. Despite being nicknamed Quadro Alas, which translates to four aces, Casemiro plans to leave nothing down to luck come fight night. Well, I'm very excited this fight and you know we see you and have a fight. Continuing a five fight knockout streak and hoping to turn the new influx of fans from Inoue's fan friendly style into his own, despite previous victories over Mexico's Guevara at light flyweight and Britain's Charlie Edwards at flyweight, the 31-year-old is currently riding a wave of momentum above any other in his career. Casemiro is on a good run of form and I've seen him, you know, ringside and the power that man possesses in his hands is, is a joke. And recently overcoming an acid test of his own, he crushed Zolani Tete, another of the division's biggest stars, in just three asking, rounds. is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has! So now, fighting under Manny's MP promotions, he embraces the Miami Heat, alongside Mimo Heredia and Pedro Roque. 
the man behind over 500 Olympic medals, formerly dubbed by Team USA as the best coach in the world. And whilst the odds stack against him, the Filipino sent out a message to those who consider him an underdog. It's Mero, it may be low because, because the opponent is so very good, but all my opponent is so very good, but you know, I'm a strong man. <laughs> As he brings a skill set, a willingness, and a desire that promises fireworks when the two collide. Yeah, he wants to fight Inoue anytime yeah. soon. He wants to knock out all, all, all people. He wants to knock, knock out, then yeah, I, I'll do my best to knock him out. A collision of two three-weight champions, it really doesn't get much better. And as we look through the tail of the tape, there is very little to separate them. Inoue is essentially in his fourth weight class as a skipped flyweight and holds the slight advantages on paper with his 19-0 resume. Whereas his opponent has suffered four losses from 108 to 115 pounds, but seems to have carried his power up in spectacular fashion to 118. At five foot five inches, the Japanese fighter has an extra inch in height and three inches of reach in his favor to accompany the four-year age gap. Though the swaying factor will be experience and momentum, with Casimiro's six additional years of professional experience, if Casimiro is ready, nobody can stop him, nobody can beat him. Where many expected Don Air to be a pushover for Naoya, it drew a fight of the year terror. And they go toe to toe to the final bell. And where many expected Tete to be too slick and too technical for John Real, he simply blew him out of the water. Casimiro needs to pick his punches and he can't find the punch. Don Air rewound the clock to put in a career best performance. And whilst it still wasn't enough to beat the monster, it offers his countrymen something to build on. I plan, I plan how to, how to knock him out. The fight itself will invite a red-hot pace. Both men have spectacular footwork, with Casimiro's in-and-out movement being some of the best in the division. The one thing the Filipino can be guilty of is sometimes waiting for the perfect shot to present itself, something he cannot afford to do. The story of the matchup will be how well both men take and distribute each other's power. Inoue's speed and boxing could create openings for him to apply pressure, and if he gets his man on the back foot, he is probably the most complete finisher in the sport. Right hand left hand of McDonald, sacks into the ropes again, the referee has jumped in and waved this off. Though you'd be crazy, even with his track record, to think it's a walk in the park for the Japanese star. <laughs> After all, we saw him drawn into a firefight in November, one that swung the fight wide open. Should the same take place at the Mandalay Bay, anything could happen. With two fantastic punchers, the odds certainly don't favor those ringside hearing the final bell. Though with two men who chose legacy over comfort, the real winners will be the fans. And with names like Neri and Ubali lying in wait, we can expect an undisputed bantamweight collision in the not too distant future. I think we can knock him out. Bob Arum, make that fight. Naoya Inoue looks on course to become a true boxing great and has all the tools and natural ability to do so. I think soon as Neri lands, it's game over. However, John Real Casimiro has been described as the best boxing champ you've never heard of, something that could certainly change in the coming months. You can tell by the way he likes to talk. Ojeda's a fan who likes to walk. Mask is on and so are gloves, six feet away from the ones he loves. That's all right, it's okay. He wouldn't have it any other way. Because we all know and understand COVID-19's effect on man. Whether you're a brother or whether you're a mother, we want you staying alive to enjoy the next Motivedia presentation.